history and your questions. I'm Jill, and today, well, we're working for peanuts. Peanuts! Making puppets out of peanut shells, that is, <laughs> to learn about an American scientist and inventor, George Washington Carver. Right on time, we've got a question. I know who George Washington is. Who's George Washington Carver? I was hoping you'd ask that. George Washington Carver was a remarkable man. Born into slavery around 1864, his childhood was not easy. He was forced to work as a slave, but he loved learning, set goals, and grew up to be a leader who changed the farming industry. He's best known for his work with peanuts. He taught people how to grow and use them for making shaving cream, shampoo, wood stains, plastics, and more. Washington Carver was a great American innovator. I'll explain more in a bit. First, here's what you need for today's craft. Large peanuts in the shell, as big as you can find. Twisty ties, yarn, googly eyes, hot glue, scissors, and markers. Try not to eat all the peanuts before you finish. Let's get started. This craft takes attention to detail and patience, a virtue. Take a peanut in the shell and crack it in half lengthwise. That didn't work. Try again. Be careful. Oh, it worked! Peanuts are fragile. And yes, you can eat this snack on the inside. Mmm! This might be my favorite craft yet. Next, cut the shell in half across the widest part near the bottom. It worked! And do the same to the other half of the shell. There we go. Very nice. One thing about peanut shells, they are messy, so clean up. Set these aside and grab one of your twisty ties. Cut one of these twisty ties in half. Right about, there we go. These will be our puppet's arms. Bend one twisty tie piece into a U shape and press it into the middle of one of our shells. Just like this. Let's glue it in there. Very carefully, a little dot right in the middle of our shell. There we go. Hello, little peanut. And speaking of little peanuts, as a child, George had a deep love for nature. Historians say he even had a secret garden where he'd study and care for plants. Local farmers called him the plant doctor. Growing up, Carver faced many challenges, but became a student at Iowa State Agricultural College and was determined to do big things. Back to our craft. Let's give our little peanut some crazy hair, shall we? Take your string and cut six pieces of it anywhere between two to five inches long. If you want your peanut to have long hair, then go long. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna go for long hair. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six pieces. Now, Glue these strings inside the top of your shell. Just sort of put a glob of glue right there and carefully put these in. There we go. Told you I was gonna do long hair. <laughs> Are you still waiting for me to tell you exactly why Carver's work with peanuts was so important? Okay, you got it. In 1896, Carver became the head of the Agricultural Department, which is the farming department, at Tuskegee Institute, a very famous school. His research helped farmers learn how to grow different crops, like peanuts and sweet potatoes. And he also taught people how to keep soil healthy so that you could grow more crops. 
Thanks to Carver, peanuts became one of the six leading crops in the United States over the next 50 years, which helped the South move away from growing so much cotton that ruined the soil. Carver changed America's farming industry forever. Let's finish our peanut puppets. We're gonna attach our shells back together now by gluing the other half of the shell back together. It helps if you hold your little peanut by the arms. Now, let's give her some eyes. Oh, she's so cute. Can I braid her hair? She needs a smile. Grab your marker. And when you draw the smile, remember, smaller is better. Trust me. Ta-da! There we go. There's the smile. The best part about this, you can make as many as you want. Shall we? Yeah. on your finger, this is where you can use your craft sticks. Watch. A little bit of glue on the inside. And right there. <laughs> George Washington Carver was a great American. He faced prejudice and hardship, but his achievements made way for future black American scientists and inventors. He was an educator, an artist, and a humanitarian. His life and hard work can inspire all of us to overcome challenges and accomplish great things, no matter who you are, how you start, or where you come from. Next time you grab peanuts for a snack, think of George Washington Carver's great accomplishments. We hope you had fun. If you've got ideas or questions for our next craftery, send them our way. Keep crafting, keep learning, and keep celebrating Land of the Free and Home of the Brave. Didn't we have a theater around here? <gasps> Perfect! Bye! Thank you for watching. You know we've got more episodes, right? Watch the whole series on our website. And parents, you can subscribe at PragerUKids.com.